With the slow growth and cooler weather that autumn brings uh, and much less activity in your garden, there's a few positive knock-on effects which the autumn season can bring to support you as a gardener and your garden alike. So these side effects from the autumn weather and the turn of the season can provide a fair bit of support actually for your garden. Balance, help to balance your garden as well, which is what we all aim for. Ideally, with a natural garden, we're aiming for balance um, to your garden with very less, very little disruption to the ecosystem in your garden. So it's perfect, really. In autumn, it's a really good time of year, just like early spring. It's got a little nice little balance to it. It's sorting the garden out. It's getting itself ready. So, hello and welcome to this week's Natural Gardening Live with me, Josie Rainbird, your natural gardening coach. So what are we talking about today? In this week's Natural Gardening Live, I'm talking to you about the benefits of autumn, um, benefits from autumn garden. I have got for you today a few ways autumn can support your garden, how the change of the season can actually benefit the health and well-being of your garden um, as we head into winter. Because autumn, autumn, October turned up so quickly, I can guarantee you anything winter will turn up just as fast. Start off with a very important point is pest and disease damage. How can autumn um, benefit your garden when it comes to pest and disease damage? I hear you cry. Um, so the cold weather naturally controls pests, it, the population of insects in your garden. This is why we, um, when we are going through the winter, we do what we can to support the insects in your garden as much as the wildlife. I know technically insects are wildlife, but I like to differentiate between the two. So the cold weather naturally um, controls the population of insects. It's the way it works. So we support them, the good ones, the ones that we want in the garden. We put our support for them. We create them little homes, um, the little like bamboo cane bundles and things like that, and stick bundles and little stones and things to try and support them as we go through the winter, to try and encourage them back into your garden as it comes into the spring when the weather warms up. So we know that winter time and the cool weather of autumn as it goes into winter will have an effect on insects. The cold weather will also have a um, preventative measure, if you like. It will help to prevent the spread of diseases and fungal issues, fungal diseases, which might challenge your plants to go into spring. So the cold weather will actually prevent the spread of these as well, which is amazing. So having a sharp dip in temperature isn't always a bad thing um, or anything to worry about. If your garden's in good, healthy, um, in a good, healthy state as you move into autumn, this won't have much of a notable effect. Population of insects looking to feed on your plants, on the other hand, which is the ones we don't want, ideally, in your garden, um, or we do, but at a, at a manageable level that doesn't affect your plants, um, the population of insects looking to feed on your garden and carry these diseases, the diseases we're talking about, um, on the other hand, will absolutely and definitely going to be affected by this cold weather and really will help, this cold weather will help to reduce the, this challenge as you go into when the weather starts to warm up as you come out of winter into spring so this is really good time we can check it all that's what i'm saying about creating balance again it will the cold weather will come in and just check the population of insects if they're starting to get a bit out of control coming to the end of the summer and um, the cold weather will come in there'll be a sharp dip which we've noticed sharp dip in temperature and then it'll just check the populations to keep them under control which we like. Saving us doing it, we don't have to step in and take control of this. It's not our place to be like managing that at this point. Autumn's coming in, taking control of the situation, which is good. Okay, so that was pest and disease damage. So seeing how autumn can actually to um, support your garden when it comes to pests and diseases quite easily without us even having to think about it. Autumn garden can also be much easier to work, which is true. Um, so the heat of the summer, God, the summer this year has been brutal. I love, I do like the heat, but I do burn really quickly. So I'm quite happy with more of a spring weather when it's not quite so hot, not quite so burnable weather, <laughs> or even autumn. It's kind of a mix between the two. So yeah, the heat this year has been brutal. Um, unusually high, I've written here, but it is brutal and can be. It can be enjoyable, yeah, but it can also be challenging when it co coming when it comes to gardening. It can be a challenge when it comes to gardening. Gardening can be much easier in the autumn and much more enjoyable, um, much more pleasant even, and um, with the cooler temperatures and the nice sunshine. We like this. This is much nicer. And the added benefit of the damper weather can mean the ground is easier to work, which is perfect. Um, this makes weeding easier. This makes digging the garden easier if you've got areas that you need to dig. So, yes, it makes weeding easier, digging your garden much easier, and the support for the insects living in the soil working hard to maintain the good soil, a good nutrients for your garden. It can support them much more easily as well. So a nice bit of moisture in the soil is always good. 
Weeding can be easier for another reason as well, because all as you go through the autumn, the growth rapidly reduces on all plants, including weeds. So the fastest growing weeds will slow their growth right down, making them much easier to manage, much easier to pull up. So that's another reason. <laughs> that was just one I thought about when I was writing this. I thought, well, actually, that's true as well. They do. They do slow right down and they are much easier to manage because you can just pull them up. So it's fine. So weeding becomes much easier for two reasons. So watering. Heading into autumn and winter, we tend to see more rain. We know this. It's notoriously more wet in the autumn and winter time than it is in the spring and summer. It just is. So heading into autumn and winter, we tend to see more rain. The supply of water runs dry quite often in the summer months, and we struggle to provide enough to keep our gardens going. This year, we've had a hose by a ban on top of that. So not only have we run dry from you know, the water pipes and water stores, um, we haven't had um, hose pipes to deal with either, which is wonderful. Um, rather stressful, but it's, we got through it. It's fine. And, but as soon as you head into autumn, the water pipes are full again. Which is, the supply of water runs dry in the summer months, but as we turn into autumn, the um, supply tends to refill rather rapidly, which is great. So this is a great time to start collecting the water as much as you can, because it's very readily available this summer year, um, for the new year. So as we head into spring, you've got full stores ready for um, watering and to keep refilled and everything ready for the summer, which is amazing. Because if you can start summer off with a full set of water butts, or if you've only got one water butt, make sure it's full. It helps you out so much, it does. Because we do get minimal sort of rain, I do, usually, I say usually in the summer in the UK. But this year we didn't have an awful lot of rain, hence those by ban. So autumn time is a fantastic time to get ahead and start collecting water um, ready for the summer or spring and summer months to support your garden. So cool weather. So the cooler weather can actually improve your garden as well. Frost and freezing temperatures can help to break down compacted soil. So if you've got an area of your garden that you want to dig and it's been too hard through the summer, um, you I don't know if it's been walked on or if it hasn't been worked, you haven't conditioned it, what it is. But as soon as the frost or the freezing temperatures get to it, um, it starts to break the soil up, making it much easier to work in the spring. This makes it easier as well if you mulch it at this point as well and let the mulch break down with the soil as you go through the freezing temperatures. This will help to condition your soil quite easily as well, which is a really good tip. So the freezing temperatures can help to break down compacted soil, break down organic matter, decomposing in the soil and releasing nutrients, which has been locked up over the summer. As I say, if the um, soil has been compacted and um, hardened through um, drought or anything like that. So it's a really good time to be doing that as well. Just um, mulch on top of the hard soil and then let the frost and the freezing temperatures just break it all down together. It's like instantly conditions it and mix it up for you. Another one I've just added in here for good measure, so it doesn't really make sense, but I'm going to throw it in anyway. Um, some vegetables also need cold, the cold freezing temperatures, like the heavy frosts, to mature. Um, they also need the frost and the freezing temperatures to sweeten the flavour. Root crops such as like carrots and parsnips and things like that, um, they... Once they get frost on them, they go so much sweeter. It releases all the sugars inside. And brassicas do this as well, some broccoli and things like that. Um, this happens to them as well. They get so much sweeter after a frost. So it's really good to let your vegetables go for a frost. Only some vegetables, some fresh veg can't deal with a frost. Um, courgettes aren't very frost hardy. They will break down quite quickly with a frost. Um, I've still got courgettes growing out of the plant that aren't big enough to harvest and I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm really considering putting cloches over them because I don't want them. I want them to mature before they get a heavy frost. I'm hoping they'll get there and it'll be fine before you get any frost. So that'll be fine. So frost is quite important for a veg patch. Autumn and winter are seen as the end of the growing year. Um, but even but every season plays its own role in keeping your garden happy and healthy. So there's never really a end of the year so much as a cycle continuously moving forward to keep your garden growing and the ecosystem supported. So it's not really an end of a growing year so much as a continuation on, keep going as a cycle. It never stops. Um, your garden needs all four seasons to complete its life cycle. So like setting the seed, for growing from, from seed through to seed. It needs all four seasons to complete its life cycle and it needs all four seasons to grow a happy and healthy garden. So you don't look at autumn and winter as the closing down of your garden, but more like the next stage. So your garden's readying itself for spring, so to speak. So it's just a continuous cycle going through. So it's never really a closed down. So I hope this has helped you. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. I hope this has helped you to understand the benefits of autumn, um, the benefits autumn can bring to your garden and you as a gardener, um, but also not to shut the door. Don't shut the door on your garden as we come, um, as we move through autumn into winter. Keep your hand in. Um, 
make the most of these benefits that I've mentioned to you because they will save you so much work in the new year. Absolutely amazing. And Autumn will do this all on its own for you. Um, but if you it's add a little bit of yourself in there as well, it can make save so much time, so much effort. So let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Let me know how you support your garden in the autumn and what you love about this time of year because there's so much to love. Autumn is a very good time of year. And I think that's it for today. I will see you in our next Natural Garden Live in a couple of weeks. So see you later.